everyone, it's Jay and I am back with another video and this video is four tips, four, four tips on how to move out of your parents' house. Now, this video was inspired because I was thinking when I, I moved out of my parents' house when I was 18 and it was hard, but you gotta think. Do you want to sleep naked at night? Do you want to have sex without people judging you? You don't want to, you, you know, you don't want to be like, you know, you want to be able to be free and do what you want to do. So, and also like, you know, just party, have parties, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that kids that age would want to do. You know that teenagers would want to do and I can do any of that so that's why I wanted to come to you guys and give you just some tips that helped me to move out of my parents house my mom's house when I was 18 years old I wrote some stuff down because I didn't want to forget anything so let's get into it tip number one very important tip Get you a ride or die. Now, I don't mean this literally, but you have to get someone that I would consider a ride or die. I mean, even if it's not a ride or die, it's someone that's gonna be there throughout your journey until you're able to financially support yourself without a roommate. So basically when I say a ride or die, it could be a boyfriend, a girlfriend, it could be your sibling, like a sister or brother, or it could be a bestie, you know, a best friend, or sometimes even a coworker becomes a close friend that you can consider a roommate. All of these people um, can be considered your ride or die, um, and they're the ones that you need to help you move out. There's no way you're gonna move out at 18 years old. This is not, side note, this is not for kids that are like, Okay, you're rich, you're well-to-do, you have um, a plan set, set up to go to college and to have a great career and everything was given to you and you don't need a job or anything like that. No, those people, this video is not for you. With all due respect, that's great. You know, you are the person that needs to stay in your parents' house stay there until you graduate and go to college. I'm talking about the people who, you know, you just ended up in situations, you wanna move out, it's not a, a comfortable place for you to be, or you just want some independence, but you don't have the money financially, okay? So you're just working your way from the bottom. This is the bottom, okay? So basically, the first thing you need to do, get a ride or die. Without a ride or die, you can't move out on your own. You can't move out on your own. It's impossible because you need someone to help you pay half the rent. That is where all of your savings for your new place is gonna come in. You know, you have to be able to split the bills 50-50. You have to have someone that has the same mindset as you. You know, someone who's working and um, wants to get their own place someday, that's the type of person that you need to bring on this journey. If it's someone who's gonna be a leech and who's just gonna be eating your food, drinking, and just taking up space, then that's not the person you wanna bring to move into the new apartment that you want. Um, so make sure you have that person, the right person, okay? Tip number two. Get a place you can afford. Like, this is so important. A lot of people wanna move out and live in this nice place and you know, with the pool and a jacuzzi and a gym and the ocean side view or whatever. I don't know, no, it's not gonna happen. It's freaking impossible. You're an 18 year old, you should have a job if you're thinking about moving out. Um, but the job that you have at 18, I don't think, I don't know any 18 year olds that have like a great job that can move in automatically like that. You know, you have to start from the bottom. You probably might live in the hood. It probably won't even be the hood, but it, it won't be that bad. You know, just get a place that's affordable 
for your income. For example, say you're making $400 a week, or maybe less, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say like 350. I don't remember what kids make at that age. I remember I was making like $10 an hour when I was 18. And for me, I was like so freaking happy because it was a come up from making like eight something at McDonald's when I was 17. Okay, so I was making $10 an hour. Um, so that's what, 350, sorry, that's, um, yeah, I guess 350, let's just say 350 um, with taxes taken out or whatever. So 350 a week, four weeks in a, in a year, I'm sorry, in a month, and that would be um, $1,400 a month. So therefore, if it's $1,400 a month, and you know that you're trying to pay the rent, say, make sure your rent is no more, if you're making $1,400 a month and your other person's making $1,400 a month, try to get a place that's no less than, no more than about seven to $800. Because remember, you have to keep in mind that you're trying to save. It's not only to get your own place and live paycheck to paycheck. This is about saving money while still being able to have your own space. Okay, so make sure you get a place that's affordable. Because if you have 800, you know, most uh, places, if it's like a studio or something, the water, all the utilities are included. If it's just you and another person, you guys can share that place and you only have to, if it's like 800 a month, you're only putting $400, you know, um, towards rent, which is awesome because, you know, out of 1400, you'll still have like $600 and you'll be able to buy food and also be able to save. Tip number three, make sure to get somewhere convenient to your job um, if you're going to college, you know, somewhere near college, or side note, if you have a kid, because when I moved out at, at 18, I had a child, and you have to make sure that you have somewhere that's close to a relative or a family member, because there are some days that childcare is not available, and you'll be stuck with your child and not able to work um, if, you know, if you don't have somewhere, someone close by. It's very, very important with that one. Um, make sure you're close. And you know, at 18, I didn't have a car. So it, you have to be close to those places that you want to go if you know you take an Uber or take public transportation, you know, the bus or whatever. Make sure they're all in close um, vicinity to where you will be trying to get your place. Okay? And last but not least, tip number four. Make sure that you have a savings plan. Very, very important. I mentioned it in tip number two. It, it um, goes hand in hand with tip number two, which is getting a place you can afford. Make sure you have a savings plan. Make sure you have a short-term goal. The long-term goal, oh yeah, I wanna you know, move out and get a nicer place or something like that. But the short-term goal, okay, how much do I wanna save per month? To, to get me to that long-term goal. How much am I planning on putting aside for this? Make sure you have that, whether it be with your bank account or if it's going to be, you know, putting it in your drawer or something in a stock, I don't know. But just make sure you have that savings plan in place, both you and either your boyfriend or your roommate or whatever. Make sure you guys have that and make sure you guys know how long you'll be staying together in order to accomplish whatever it is that you need to do. So yeah, those were my four tips for a successful way to move out of your parents' house. Now, those four things, like I said, they're very important. I'm gonna just run through them again. Get a ride or die, get a place you can afford, move somewhere near, everywhere that you need to get to, and make sure you have a savings plan in place. So, um, please make sure you take those things into consideration before uh, making that leap to move out. Just know that it is possible, you can do it, you can succeed without being wealthy or having a lot of money. You just have to push, 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 and 
um, make sure that you stay focused on your long-term goal. All right, so um, please remember to subscribe down below. Please uh, like the video if you did like the video and leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, again, this is Jay and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.